a term polyp is a macroscopic descriptive term referring to a localized elevation of the mucosa into the lumen of the organ. It can be classified as neoplastic or non-neoplastic. In this video, we will focus solely at non-neoplastic gastric polyps, gastric pseudotumors. Before we start, we should briefly discuss basic histology of the stomach mucosa. We shouldn't forget that the gastric mucosa consists of two zones, the upper foveolar zone and lower glandular zone. Foveoli are covered by mucus-producing columna epithelia and form numerous invaginations called gastric pits, which connect to stomach glands. Cellular composition of the glands varies according to locality. In the stomach body, glands consist of parietal and chief cells, accompanied by some stem cells, enteroendocrine cells and mucous neck cells. Parietal or oxyntic cells produce hydrochloric acid, an intrinsic factor. In microscopy, they are of pyramidal shape with central rounded nuclei and their cytoplasm stains pink. Chief cells produce pepsinogen and some other enzymes. They are cuboidal or a lovely columnar, and their cytoplasm is basophilic. Pylorus and cardiolic parietal and chief cells and consist predominantly of mucous neck cells. And now let's proceed to polyps. The most common type of non-neoplastic gastric polyp is so-called hyperplastic polyp. This lesion shares the name with hyperplastic polyp of the small and large intestine, but they are not related neither from the etiopathogenic nor the histological point of view. The hyperplastic gastric polyp is a reactive non-neoplastic mucosal proliferation caused by long-term irritation, usually in the settings of chronic inflammation. It may also develop close to chronic ulcers or percutaneous gastrostomy. Grossly, they are usually small and sessile, but in the course of time they may reach size of several centimeters and become multiple. Microscopically, hyperplastic changes are seen particularly in the foveolar zone of the mucosa. Foveoli are elongated, irregularly shaped and dilated. Lamina propria is typically edematous with variable degree of chronic and acute inflammation. The polyp may be ulcerated. A fundic gland polyp is another common representative of non-neoplastic gastric polypoid lesion. It's usually smaller and multiple, localized in the stomach body. It's usually sporadic, as a consequence of a long-term use of proton pump inhibitors or in patients with zollinger ellison syndrome. Those patients share a common denominator in secondary hypogastronemia, leading to hyperplasia of the glandular zone of the stomach body, with the predominance of parietal cells. These cells are enlarged and form typical apical protrusions towards the glandular lumen. As time passes, this hyperplastic process will lead to formation of multiple small polyps, which consist of hyperplastic and cystically dilated oxyntic glands with the corresponding predominance of parietal cells. Sporadic fundic gland polyps pose no risk of malignant transformation, and dysplasia is usually not seen. More rarely, these polyps may come in various polyposis syndromes, typically familiar adenomatous polyposis. Dysplasia is more common in this setting, but a malignant transformation is still an uncommon phenomenon. Inflammatory fibroid polyp, or so-called Vanex polyp, usually takes the form of elongated protruding cigar-shaped polyp with characteristic small ulceration on the tip. On the microscopic level, 
This lesion is primarily situated in the submucosa and consists of proliferation of spindle-shaped mesenchymal cells. The stroma is edematous and rich in inflammatory cells with majority of eosinophils. The cells are arranged concentrically around the vessels in so-called onion skin fashion. For a time, this polyp was considered to be a reactive non-neoplastic lesion. But in recent years, a characteristic mutation of PDGFRA gene was found, supporting the neoplastic origin of this lesion. Also, a pancreatic heterotopy may manifest as a polypoid lesion, and the stomach is a common locality. It's usually situated in the submucosa or in muscularis propri. Due to its deep localization, it may mimic a gastrointestinal stroma tumor clinically. In the previous times, a misleading term Saltikov's carcinoid was often used for this lesion. Naturally, a pancreatic heterotopy has nothing to do with neuroendocrine tumors. Hematomatous polyps of the stomach are not common. Very briefly, hematoma is a non-neoplastic tumoriform lesion caused by a local developmental malformation of the tissue. It may appear as a polypoid lesion as well. On the microscopic level, it may be very challenging to distinguish them from hyperplastic gastric polyps, since these polyps occur more frequently in the small and large intestine. They will be described in the videos referring to intestinal polyps.